an area for the house members. They're all walking over now through the tunnels. feeling right now i'm doing great how are you okay hold on i'm already getting a little bit of a little bit of sarcasm why don't you um why don't you tell us about our day why don't you tell us a what's one movie that you like one movie that i like yeah um gladiator why do you like gladiator it's a classic fantastic soundtrack great plot good versus evil nothing too complex is that the one with is it Kurt Russell? Am I making that up? Oh no, Russell Crowe. Sorry, not Kurt Russell. Yeah. Kurt Russell always has the shaggy hair. Russell Crowe. Okay. Wow. Cool. Um, so, well, that's cool. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you had like a that good movie. little chat with your uh, your friend on Twitter the other day about AOC. Oh yeah. So um, you think it's uh, you think it's ridiculous of me to question this woman's trauma? Okay, can I, am I gonna be able to get out a full sentence without you sewing the fuck out or? Have I? Not Go yet. Ahead. Um. Obama. Okay. I think that it's probably reasonable given what happened I'm on going to come. January 6th and what happened with everything surrounding it, her position and everything. That if she were to say that she, especially being like, isn't she like 22 or something? She's like a fucking kid, isn't she? Oh, 22? She, she's 32, okay. Yeah. How old do you have to be to run for the house? I thought she was the youngest person ever elected to the house. She was the youngest woman, yeah. I don't know how old she was when she got elected, but definitely not 22. Okay. Close enough. 32 is a child compared to me. Um, um, actually, before I jump into a few of the questions oh I have. Yeah. <laughs> wait, no, wait, hold on. Let me put it in sense. I'm saying I think it's fair, given everything that she experienced, she could probably be pretty fucked up from everything that happened. Now, like, stage four, PTSD, traumatized, maybe not, but, like, enough that All seeing right. images and videos and she would probably be like, holy shit, yeah, this is, like, a really fucking terrifying time in my life. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to uh, establish this on Twitter yesterday, but you weren't understanding weren't quite processing it oh yeah but you you generally agree with me that if someone is being a bit ridiculous if they're over hyping a situation or perhaps even lying that it's probably okay to mock their trauma yeah um well that for me now mocking is pretty mean but yeah i mean i would say yeah probably sure if, so, if it looks right. like they're only doing it for political gain or something sure okay so we agree on that i was trying to establish that yesterday but you weren't quite uh you were like, show me one example of me doing this. I'm like, Dude, well, because you, you implied, no, stop. I said, show me an example of mocking somebody's legitimate trauma because you implied that I did that. And I don't, I, if I think somebody's Legit faking it. Even you, no, okay, wait. Yeah, go ahead. Let me see. I don't think you even said legitimate. You just said, show me an example of me mocking someone's trauma. Okay, go ahead and fi let's find the tweet, Lauren, okay? I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't think my friend has wiped them yet, so. Why do you always do this super strange characterization of me? I have no idea if you actually believe this. Destiny, you definitely would have no sympathy for cops traumatized by BLM riots. Didn't you support all of those? Like what? That wasn't what I was saying. I'm just saying when you find someone's trauma to be- Wait, hold on. Well, okay, let's link, link me the thread. Let's look at it. Link okay. me the thread. Yeah. Let's take a look and see what I'm responding to, okay? Seems like some context might be a little important there. Okay, let's- uh... Let's take a look. <clears throat> I said, you don't think it might be a bit jarring to see people storming buildings calling for the death of colleagues? Question mark, question wait, 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 mark, no. question here's, mark. Here's the relevant tweet. Can you point out where I've questioned someone's alleged trauma in any kind of situation comparable to this? And I pointed to, there was a woman who had made rape claims against a singer. Now I, I agree with you. I agree with you generally that Wait, her claims didn't really add up. In then the is it? Then how is it comparable? Because it's a serious situation where we believe someone's emotional response or their perception of it isn't quite congruent with reality, and therefore I don't believe it was a. Con I don't believe the situation though. Okay, well that's that's the difference, right? So you don't need to be so defensive and saying like, oh, I've never. When have I mocked someone's trauma? We, you have to justify that AOC's trauma was 
actually legitimate and not a laughable situation like the other people that you've mocked, right? That's no, okay. the question. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's follow the conversation, okay? We're gonna do this holistically, all right? You tweeted out a dismissive Pepe mod's face in regards to AOC yes. talking about her, her event, okay? Yes? Yes. And then my friend, seeing a ripe opportunity, fired back and said, true. AOC is super sorry for worrying about getting murdered by rioter streaming Hank Pence, but Canadian truckers were super based trying to destroy the economy because they didn't want to wear masks. Now, not very related. Seems like he was just looking for a cheap dig, but okay, that's fine. Let's see, your response was, oh yeah, I'm sure AOC is super traumatized by an event she wasn't even at and only her political rivals died from. This totally isn't feigned PTSD for political points. Yawn, you'd mock any Republican for this shit. Now, absolutely, you would. There absolutely. are 25 different ways that I could attack this tweet. Okay, now I don't know if it's because maybe we're maybe we're just not close enough friends yet. Maybe I don't have the bond with you that I do with Nick with Fuentes. You know, because we're me and Fuentes are in each other's minds now. Okay, maybe it's because you're not Hispanic, maybe because you're not male, maybe because you're not autistic. Okay, I don't know. But of all the people that you could say that to, why the fuck would you say this to me? You'd mock any Republican for this shit. I soyed the fuck out defending Rittenhouse when he cried on trial. Yeah, but Everybody Rittenhouse said, actually went through something. He was in the riot actually having people attack him, not in an entirely separate building. Sure. Making up conspiracies there was a, there was Congress. a, it wasn't conspiracies firstly. Her congressman literally, oh. some of the, yeah, Marjorie Green Taylor is literally fucking insane. Okay, Holy and people like Cruz shit, and other people Steven. were literally supporting okay. Trump wait, through all of it. Wait, 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 oh wait, God, you're okay. gonna, oh, oh God, no, 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 we're no, no, done. No, no, no. It's, me, the conversation is over. Yeah, Steven, go, go let ahead. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Do you agree that it was silly for Trump supporters to allege that the deep state had plans against them to get them all arrested, that the police were intentionally leading them into the building with the sole purpose of ruining patriots and Donald Trump? Like, and, and would it be more crazy for these people to allege that the police did this with the intention of getting them killed? Do you think that would be something crazy for Trump supporters and Republicans to say? Yes. Okay. So you think it's silly to assume the institutions of the Capitol are corrupt internally and working against one party no. to try to get people, politicians, no. or political no. factions no. killed or destroyed? No, you can't generalize that. I said that it would be no, crazy. No, 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 no. no, no, hold wait, on. Wait, so I said it would be crazy. No, hold on. I'm not going to let you I'm just going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking. Okay. okay. You're not gonna railroad me on this one. I said it would be, cr I agreed with your first statement. It would be crazy yeah. if Republicans said that. I don't think it would be crazy if Democrats said that. Oh my gosh. So you think it's entirely sane for Democrats to believe that the institutions within the government are working against them to try and get them killed? No. What I don't think you understand or care about, or maybe you guys are all just like willingly blind to it, is none of you understand that typically when, and I'll admit, when Democrats are attacking Republicans, and when Republicans are attacking Democrats for insane, deep state, crazy shit, they usually have to point to political fringes to establish these points. So Republicans did it to Obama when they, when they were like, look at this guy's preacher when he was a guy, um, I, I, when, when he went to church. I remember hearing that clip of God damn America and then trying to say Obama was friends with the Weather Underground people. He talked to Bill Ayers like 30 years ago. That's usually what we have to point to. Or when we talk about Republicans, it'll be like, look at this ex GOP candidate running for governor, blah, 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 blah. So usually if anybody would say, don't you think it's kind of dumb to think that Republicans or Democrats are actually planning something? I would say, yeah, of course it's dumb. The reason why January 6th and the entire Trump presidency was historic though was because your actual head of state, the actual president was the one that was involved trying to undermine the electoral process. It wasn't just side characters this no, no, time. No, 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 we're not talking about undermining the electoral process. We're saying- That is your most important institution. No, 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 We're saying, were there people working within the Capitol that wanted to get Democrats killed, that were Capitol <clears throat> Police officers, that are other members of the government, that are actively trying to get- Retrospectively, I would say obviously not, but at a point in time when Trump was trying to undermine the election and it kind of seemed like half the Republican legislature was kind of on board with him doing that, I don't think it's a, it's that far of a jump to say like, what to the fuck, maybe. Get, yeah, so you think, holy shit, Steven, you're unhinged. I, I don't, Do I think, think that like, was, I, think I truly, you're in another world. I can't communicate with you how unimaginably fucked Trump's presidency was. No, 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 you no, have no, like, listen, you guys listen. have like no, a reverse, no, no, you have a reverse no. TDS. No you have trying, a reverse TDS. No one was because trying to get I will admit that there was a Trump derangement syndrome that happened with, with liberals or whatever in the United States. It happened. But then this reverse TDS form with you guys, we're like, well, I don't think 
Trump was that much different than like Ronald Reagan or George Bush. He was different. It was a historically fascist president, unironically. So, okay, the guy was trying fine. to undermine we'll every U.S. institution. Sorry, okay, yeah, go ahead. Chill, chill. Just chill for a second. Okay, So go ahead. you think it, it, it's reasonable for Democrats to think that their, you know, fellow Republicans and institution within, within the government are trying to get them killed? I don't you think, think that in general, thought. no, no, no. In general, I don't think that's reasonable. But at a time when the Capitol was being overturned by rioters that were kind of sort of called upon by Donald Trump in a speech a couple hours earlier, I can understand somebody having that thought. Now, what if they kept repeating it that it was true that other politicians were trying to get them killed with no evidence? Uh, if they kept repeating it like weeks after or something, then that would be pretty dumb. Okay, so do you think that it was reasonable for AOC to say things like, I refused to go to the secure location because I feared other members of Congress were trying to harm me? At that particular point in time? Do you think it was reasonable for her to say that the Capitol Police officer was potentially trying to set her up to be killed or harmed? Do you think it was reasonable? So firstly, are, are you just trying to gish? Are you just gonna, do you think if you just spam enough Ed quotes Cruz at me, it's gonna- to assassinate her? Are you gonna just spam quotes at me? So if you wanna show me the exact quotes, we can talk about it. But at that particular point in time, it wouldn't have surprised me if somebody had that feeling. So but again, I don't think that work? you if, understand oh, no, no, how no, historically no. crazy January 6th was. Why, if she, she, so this was before anything happened, but I don't know why someone would even go to work if they thought that the police working that were in the Capitol. Yeah, welcome to working under the Trump them. presidency. Yeah, he was trying to undermine so, the entire yeah. system, his entire so you fucking really presidency. Think it was fair for Democrats to go into work every day thinking, wow, if something goes down, the people here, the police officers working here they're going to try to set me up to get hung and killed i don't think you understand that's I, I, delusional it's, steven lauren it's, it's not in a it's not a normal day in work where aoc's walking in and she's like man i sure do think this trump loyal police no, officer is gonna kill no, me it, it was it, during it, a historic invasion of our capital she wasn't, even, she wasn't even in the capital she wasn't in the building for she was like in an office it, building across the street if you can't trust, if you can't trust the people there that are the police officers to come and get you and take you to a secure location, I don't even know why I should go to work. Tr I, it's like true, long. yes, you're, this is base. Yeah, okay, I agree. So you if you can't you can, even okay, trust right. that you the think, president of the United States oh would, would order the National Guard to go and fucking do something, that he would just be sitting on his ass next to the Oval Office watching fucking Fox and Friends while Mike Pence has to make the fucking call because you won't even do something about your own fucking Capitol building being flooded no. because you want the election to be overturned? I agree, Lauren, so that then, would be really fucked. Then, and it would probably fuck with then, somebody's mind hardcore if they were going yeah. into work wondering what the fuck was going on and the president was working with his party to try to overthrow the fucking election, sorry. Politicians are the biggest pussies on the earth. The reason AOC and all these other Democrats kept going to work is because they didn't actually think that. No one fucking thinks that, Stephen. You don't even think that, especially afterwards looking at the actual evidence that came out for AOC to be continually repeating that she was terrified that Ted Cruz was trying to get her assassinated. Absolutely. Hold on, link me that quote. I want you, I want you, you we're gonna wait a second and link me that quote. Obama. Has she been repeating afterwards that Ted Cruz was trying to get her assassinated? Or was she saying that at the time, she didn't know if he was? She didn't you know if that could have been- You had me murdered. <laughs> what an unhinged woman. It's not even that unhinged. Oh my gosh, okay. I, I wish that there, maybe like 20 years from now, looking back, I know it's hard to be honest when it comes to people that are like this politically different than you, but it truly is like one of the most fucked events in all of US history unironically, like one of the worst things that has ever happened in this country, that the president of the United States sure led what was almost a coup d'etat of his government because he was throwing a temper tantrum about the election outcome. It, that's like you think, unbelievable. You think, Ted, you think Ted Cruz was trying to get AOC killed? And I think, that, think that, I, I didn't say that. What I said was- Well, that's I what she said. No, no, that's what she said. hold on, stop. I didn't say that I think Ted Cruz was trying to get her killed. What I said was I could believe her feeling that that was the case. Okay, okay, great. That's great. This is a good point to start off. She could feel that way. Yeah. But based on all of the evidence that is available. Today or Lauren, back then? Wait, wait Steven, today or back Steven, then, Lauren? Calm down. Calm down. I'm relax. super calm, but relax. specify. Relax. Do you Can mean I, today? Are you gonna are you gonna allow me to finish a sentence? Yeah, just specify today or back then so I know what we're talking about. What time period? This was let's see. This was like a month after things happened. Um but let's let's just say she could feel that way, but based on the evidence, 
would it be reasonable is the question. Someone can feel, like that girl in the Tillian story, someone can feel like they've been raped or sexually assaulted by power dynamics, but then you can observe the evidence and be like, actually, this person's feelings don't really match up with reality. AOC's feelings about Ted Cruz <laughs> wanting to try to get her murdered do not match up with reality. And I believe with every part of my being, you agree with that, but you might not say it because you don't want to agree with me on stream. Wait, wait, first of all, would you accuse me that it triggers the ever living fuck out of me? So I'm gonna assume you you're literally just saying that you to trigger me, do okay? It. I'm gonna assume that you are just saying that to trigger me. So that's fine, okay? Listen, you might lie on stream for your beliefs, okay? But that's fine. I don't have to do that for mine, okay? All right, what is, Okay, so you've linked me something. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez reacts to Ted Cruz's tweet on GameStop saying you almost had me murdered. Which part of this do you disagree with? Or what part of this do you want me to justify? I don't think that, do you think that Ted Cruz was trying to have her murdered? Directly, no. But Ted Cruz was literally one of the front running cheerleaders for Trump going through his challenging of the election process. And he okay, was so lockstep in Trump with all with the messaging oh. that people were overturned. Fuck, you guys really don't care about this. I hate it. No, I, I, the thing, no, the no, reason no, why listen, I hate listen. you. No, 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 hold on. I want you to know why I hate you. I want you to know I hate you. Because if this, if this was the other way, if it was a bunch of fucking black people running into the Capitol with like saying, oh, we're going to blow the election, blah, 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 blah. You would be like tweeting every fucking day for the next three fucking months. I bet you would have 15 YouTube videos on this historic takeover of the fucking Capitol building. And there would be fucking Republicans that are 20 miles away saying, I thought fucking Antifa was going to come to my house and kill me. You'd be like, yeah, well, of course, Steve. Even like Antifa have killed people before, blah, blah, blah. I know you would be saying it, but I can't prove that to you because I don't have another world. But I know for a fact you would be saying all of it. Are you, you going to chill? Are you no, going to chill for I'm a moment? No, I'm fucking tr absolutely the triggered. The equivalent to this would be me saying I'm not going to speak to any lefties who called for defunding the police because they caused riots it's, that that's, occurred it's not in even, places that I... Wait, are you going to let me finish a sentence? It's not, not even chill. comparable. Steven, Steven, are you going to let me finish it? Yeah, actually it is. More it's, people died in the BLM it's, riots it's, and got beat up and harmed by political radical factions that's not, it's than not on even, January it's not even, it's You're not right, even remotely it's not comparable. comparable. The BLM riots were way worse, but. And more people what died I, because they gonna, eat unhealthy fast me... food and have heart attacks. It's the number one killer in the United Steven, States. So BLM Steven, doesn't matter you... at all, actually. Yeah. Steven, are you going to, I'm not saying January 6th doesn't matter. I'm saying that they are comparable. There, it's, it's, there is, it's not it, comparable. They are comparable. And if anything, the BLM riots are worse, but it doesn't matter. So, so you're, you're quantifying worse, just to be clear. You're quantifying worse by like number of people killed. Is that how you figure yeah. out if something is worse? Yes. And damage and absolutely. Okay, you understand how, hold on, let me just. But hold let's on. get back on topic I gotta chill, hold on, wait, no, 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 wait, Steven, you don't I've even agree with that to, statement because of how to, fucking stupid trying, it was. Listen, wait, do you, I've been trying to get his point out this entire time and you aren't letting me finish a sentence. It's <laughs> fucking unbelievable. I know, I'm at, I wanted to act like Laura in this conversation. Go. Seizing. Yeah. Soying out. Jeez. Okay, well, you're not gonna say your sentence. You can't quantify how bad a situation is just based on the number of people that died. That's not why January 6th was a, a historically fucking crazy I'm event. I'm not saying January 6th wasn't historically crazy. No, but you're saying the BLM riots were worse when it's, it's a well, different maybe, world maybe of what we're comparing. Okay, sure, they can both fine, be bad. Maybe, yeah, okay, go ahead. Maybe you'll understand where I'm, what I'm getting at with this. Okay, let me. let's see if you can get the sentence out before, without out me. Go ahead. Jeez. Um, the equivalent of how AOC reacted would be me saying I'm not going to work with or talk to people who supported defund the police, who supported radical policies against the cops because they almost tried to get me killed by riling up radical Antifa rioters who genuinely believe the system was against them, who genuinely believe they had to shut down this entire arm of government in order to be safe. And those people were genuinely out in the streets wanting both cops, their supporters, and Republicans to die. And therefore, now anyone who supported this cause is responsible for trying to get me murdered. Like, no, that's, Wait, that's hold a ridiculous on. stretch. D so you're trying to present this in a ridiculous way, but depending on how that worked out, I would probably, yeah, agree with you. And I think what, you okay, would what, even agree with the limit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me respond out to your sense. If there was the case that you were working in like some police precinct and there was a guy next to you and one week ago people saw him in a video wearing like a black mask trying to like break open like a police station saying like, fuck the police, kill the police. And then a cop was like, I don't know if I'm gonna work next to this motherfucker. Do you think oh, that oh, I oh, would oh, say, no, no, oh, no, no, I think no, no, that's no, no, unreasonable. No. I think that guy's crazy. Of course I would you, be. You are like so bad faith right now. Ted <laughs> Cruz was not out there rioting. What we're not rioting, but he was sure. Sorry. That, yeah, what we're talking about is if that police officer saw a guy who said, hey, you know, I, I think BLM is good. I think the police are a corrupt institution. 
and then deciding not to work with that guy because he was, quote unquote, trying to get him murdered by supporting a cause that inadvertently led to violence. It's not, don't, don't inadvertently. Do Trump Cruz. didn't, no, no. Ted Cruz was not supporting a cause that okay, okay, inadvertently wait, led to violence. Did, it was what, a direct whoa, 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 shot to what was okay, going to happen. What did, what did Ted Cruz say? That cause if you're if you're gonna if say? you want to spend like 12 hours doing this i don't have his quotes no, anything, on hand anything, but i know that anything. hold on i can't help you if you He's are being it, accused no, no, of no, trying no, no, to murder stop, stop, someone stop. i think hold a on. little Lauren, bit of evidence if you are completely and totally uneducated on a january 6th which it sounds like you are i'm not here to educate you on that if you want to spend a different oh, stream doing it we can do that but ted cruz ted cruz in this in this in this in this conversation right now yes i'm not here to break down everything that everybody said leading up the election but what i will tell you is that ted cruz was one of the people I don't have anything. We both Ted Cruz, know I've already nothing. explained to you. If you want to contest what I'm saying, we can contest it. We can put money on it if you want, okay? Ted Cruz was one of the biggest cheerleaders for Trump's challenging of the election results, of trying to undermine our electoral process, of claiming that mail-in ballots might be fraudulent, all this shit. He was part, he was side by side, lockstep with Trump's rhetoric on this. That was the hey, what issue. Did, what, uh, give me one get one Ted Cruz tweet that uh, says, you know. Wasn't, hold on. Please go and tell me I'm right. One, wasn't Ted Cruz, anything. Ted Cruz, didn't he, um, wasn't he one of the people in the Senate that was like representing like, I think Texas recertifying their vote or some shit? I remember the whole process because it's been a while. Um, but I, I mean, I can go back and find quotes on. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Hey, if you want to, if you want to do the actual, just also, by the way, People always accuse me of doing this, but it's always other people in conversation that accuse me that, that do this to me. Like, I need you to show me exact quotes. About it. So give me a minute, okay? Let me search. Oh, the thing is, you're, you're no, give me agreeing a with AOC that he was trying to get her murdered, and you don't even have anything. You're having to retroactively search for it. That's pathetic. Give me a second, okay? Chill. Yeah, okay. All right, but not my job to educate you. Holy shit. How are you doing, buddy? See, everyone's desperately trying to help you out here, man. No, I'm just reading through a couple articles. I, when you, if you want to, if you want to have like an actual structured debate, and I understand that might scare you because maybe having the actual facts in front of you like make your position like super untenable. Like for instance, when you showed me the tweet of what AOC said, it was a bit different than how you phrased it. You want to set that up for a day? We can do that. But when you're on the spot, like give me the things that Ted Cruz said one or two years ago to show up, like I don't have those offhand. So yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to search pretty, for stuff and link it. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. It's but, you pretty know. important. It's uh -huh. pretty important to have evidence. <laughs> when once again he's being accused of trying to assassinate another so what you just said hold on do you realize that what you just said was a lie or is that like a meme i'm trying to get her murdered yeah that's Did different than say, assassinating oh, someone oh okay he was sorry he was just trying to get another politician murdered not trying to assassinate her are you fucking dumb he didn't what was her what were her words go ahead read them to me you link them to me all right let me get this up for you to work with almost any other any other the GOP quote was aren't you almost yeah aren't you almost there you go that aren't trying to get me killed there you go so, so not, she is alleging that ted cruz is trying to get her killed what, and what is read? what is yeah do you what have is, read, basic reading assassinate her hiring somebody to kill her is not what she said but he cheer led alongside trump the undermining of the electoral process which led to the january 6th riot I don't think her statement is that ridiculous, okay? A tad hyperbolic, maybe, but he's trying to assassinate me? No, that's not what she's saying. If, if you think there's that big a difference between saying you're trying to get me killed and trying to get me assassinated, I mean, we can have this semantics chat, but either way, you're well, making so pretty solid proof to show that <clears throat> The question is before making that the point. question is are did Ted Cruz's actions almost have How AOC can, murdered? That's the question. And yes. when you okay, sure. So and when you no, look no, no. at was he what were, was he trying? No, you 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 have the most autistic possible reading of of that thing. Like are you so I in order to work with almost any other GOP that aren't trying to get me killed. So Okay, when you read that, in your mind, are you thinking like, man, she's accusing Ted Cruz of hiring people to go out and murder her, or? When someone says they're trying to get you killed, typically that means they are actively engaged in trying to have you murdered. 
Okay, if that's like, like if fuck? that's if that's the level of conversation you're on, then I then I yeah then I don't I, yeah. What? If you're if you're looking for me to link like Steven this is, is trying Ted to get me killed, would you take that as like oh they they clearly mean my rhetoric might be taken in a bad way by someone else? At, like no. Okay, so then you no. agree that people like so then people like Vosh or whatnot they're not trying to get anybody killed, right? If people were to go out and start killing like Republican lawmakers or what almost happened, I guess to oh, um, okay, Kavanaugh. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, this is great. This is great. Uh, no, I do believe Vosh is trying to get people killed. Please show me where Ted Cruz has actively called his supporters to arms. Like Bosch has. I mean, he's a huge. He's literally done commercials shooting rifles and stuff. Okay. It, it, oh my gosh, Steven, you. Uh, Bosch didn't tell anybody to kill anybody. He just you, said go get. He said just, go get armed. I'm Make sure, sure that you have videos right. of you shooting guns. Does that mean you're trying to get people killed? No, man? but I'm not applying the same autistic standard that you are. I'm looking at okay, this so like right. in a way yeah, more comprehensive way. All right, so Ted Cruz was in a video with guns. He's trying to get AOC killed no, because he's in not, a video with guns. No. What I'm saying is that I'm curious, what do you, con if, if somebody were to start going out and murdering Republican lawmakers, how, like, would you look at somebody like Vosh and go, oh, well, his rhetoric was responsible? Would you be able to say something like, oh, like, people like Vosh are like trying to have these people killed? Or do you think that's a statement too far? Would you say, no, that's not a fair, that's not a fair charge to make of people like Vosh. Sorry, wait, repeat that? Repeat Bosch's Let's story. say somebody went out and started killing a whole bunch of anti, -L let's say Greg Abbott or um, DeSantis or whatever get fucking killed, okay? Do you think, or, or there's an attempted murder, and let's say these guys were to start tweeting out, they were like, people like Vosh are trying to get me killed. Would you be on the front lines going, trying to get you killed? Can you show me a message where Vosh is directly calling for somebody to go and murder you? Otherwise, this is a gross overreaction. Or would you go, obviously the totality of the rhetoric that they engaged in is creating an environment that is like pretty inevitably going to lead to some sort of violent outcome. That where people are trying to you, kill you. You know, you know what I would do in response? I would probably get a clip of Vosh saying, hey guys, arm up and preemptively defend yourself against Republicans. That's what I would post. Just like I Yeah, but preemptively defend. We like no, Republicans say that all the time. Stephen, Republicans talk Stephen, about all the okay, time in the United right, States. Right. Then show me Ted Cruz doing it. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying if Vosh said that, I would have the evidence to back up that he has actively asked for his followers to preemptively arm against the Republicans and be ready for a fight, essentially. If you can show me Ted Cruz saying that, maybe AOC will be seem a little less unhinged. So if I so if I could show I you- I think you can. So, so I I, if I could can. show you proof, for instance, that like Ted Cruz was trying to literally reject the vote for the president of the United States, that he was like leading That's the cause to, to try to to try to eject those electors from um, from fucking Congress so that we could have a different president ever. Would that be enough for you or is that enough? That's not enough, that's just him like, no, that's not an active call for violence like Vosh. Even, but I don't even think you have that. Uh, I, I mean, I do. He, so like part of his campaign text messaging was, Ted Cruz here, I'm leading the fight to reject electors from key states unless there's an emergency auditing election results. Will you stand with me? Um, like he was how, one of the biggest people- How is that trying to get someone else murdered? You're not that dumb, Steve. You're, like, you're, you're, not... you're like, you're, the way you look at this is actually like so like a first grader. It actually like blows my mind. Um, like the ad homs are not contributing to your argument. It's though. not an ad hom. I, I, I think that the difference is it's the populism brain. I understand the populism brain. I, I know what you like. In your mind, institutions no, are fucking Steven, irrelevant. No, no, that's Steven, that is the case. In your tweet, mind, institutions don't matter. Say, no, in, in, in your Steven, mind, the institutions don't matter. But like, unless there is an audit, is not a tweet that is trying to get other people killed, and it's genuinely like concerning. I, I can't tell if you're on some like, I don't know, just culture war bullshit right now or what. But you know that that is a ridiculous insinuation. Okay. What's up? All right. Well, Ted Cruz <laughs> took a video with guns. That's what we got, boys. Ted Cruz. Took no. A video so with what guns we have is that videos. if you are part of a group of people that is working harder than at any point in U.S. history to undermine arguably the most important institution in U.S. history, trying to get the election results thrown the fuck out, and then you've got Donald Trump, the president of the United States, calling for people to fight back, take your country. They walk to the Capitol right after a speech, and they almost enact a violent coup d'état in the fucking Capitol. Then, yeah, I think you can look at the actors surrounding Trump and go, like, hey, your rhetoric is kind of responsible. For so this. But but for Lauren, it's like, show me the text repeat, message what? where okay, Ted wait. Cruz was saying, I need you to go and murder AOC, steal her shoes, yes, I need you to fight. And if I don't have that text, you're like, well, nothing wrong here. Think, no, 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 no. Do you, do you think that tweeting 
Can, can you send me that Ted Cruz tweet that you're using as your smoking gun here? Because I'd really like to uh, read it myself. Well, is it's the nice? only thing that I have right now because I don't. I wasn't yeah, I prepared to is. have this conversation. I know that you love to talk to people when well, they're not actually prepared to, to wrestle with you on the particular fight. Some, because well, the key lore strategy is, I need you to give me exact right. quotes on fucking everything. And I'm like, oh my god, I actually don't have my Google Doc full of every quote of every person ever. You caught me on my wrong computer today. I'm sorry. No, you don't. You don't have to have like immediate evidence for everything. I don't. I absolutely agree that that's a crazy way to debate. Or argue. but you have no but, problem anytime but, a disagreement comes even, up, being like, "I need you to even, link me the you exact just, like, thing." Relax? I'm so can relaxed right relax now. That's just how I talk naturally. This is how I normally just talk. Chill? If you're going to have someone that is being accused of trying to murder another politician, I do think it is. No one is being accused. Hold on, link me the Steven. link me that accusation. Steven. Why do you have to keep lying every time you say what she says? Do you understand that you lie every time you? She's not saying that he was trying to murder her. Trying to get me killed. Yes. Okay. There you go. Yes. Thank so you. it doesn't matter. It, the semantics literally don't matter. Trying to get me killed. Trying to get me murdered. Whatever. If you are going to accuse someone of trying Try to get me. another person killed, it's okay. probably important to have something to back that up, I think. So like maybe if you don't have all the evidence on you right away, say, all right, we're gonna chill on this for a second. I'll look into a bit and we can talk about it later. But if you're gonna be so hardcore supportive of the idea that Ted Cruz is trying to get a fellow politician killed, like that's actually, pretty undermining of the democratic process to accuse you, you don't even care like about the democratic process that's fine no you can uh, say Jesus that that doesn't Christ. matter but like no no that's fine you can say <sighs> that but like if you're going to feign all of this care about how horrible it is for republicans to undermine the democratic process you should probably have some respect for it yourself and not just no you i just people like you are actually no people looking, like you are but. worse than people like ted cruz because it's it is Simon behind Trump. the mountain of your excuses that these people are able to have some political cover and be like oh well that wasn't my fault i wasn't actually telling people to do that oh blah 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 blah, blah. when it's like the entire time you, like everybody on the sidelines is watching okay everybody knew before january 6 that shit was fucked trump was for I mean, over okay. no trump was for months saying shit like all the, I think it was, was it eight months before the election that Trump was saying shit like the mail-in ballots are going to be fraudulent, by the way. And every Republican leader, because they were so fucking scared of losing any of their political power, was lockstep with him. Every single Republican leader. And Ted Cruz led it, okay? When it came to the recertification of the votes thing, saying, oh, we got to reason, we got to toss these electors, we have to challenge every single election, blah, blah, blah. And every motherfucker in the United States is like, man, this looks really bad. Hey, aren't you kind of saying that like our election results won't matter? Hey, isn't this really fucking, every single person saw it coming. And then when it finally drops when January 6th happens and it is actually fucked. Now all of a sudden he's like, okay, well, hold on. Like, can we really blame these guys? Like, wasn't it just Trump? Like, is, what was Cruz? Does he actually try to get anybody killed? Like, oh, I don't know. And it's like, what the fuck? These people, like, this happened because everybody was so supportive of Trump throughout the entire process. But now no responsibility can be doled out to anybody, probably not even Trump himself, because people like you are going to say, well, where was the direct call for violence? When you would never apply that same standard to any liberal, to any leftist doing anything remotely similar? Steven. If you think this is such a serious issue and you really think people like me to, need to understand how people like Ted Cruz caused this, then it would probably be important for you to be able to point out how Ted Cruz did that, what he said, the actions he took that led to it, instead of just telling me it's not your job to educate me and you're not prepared. I No, when I said it's not my job to educate you, what I mean is that like, if you want me to fill you in on the totality of the events leading up to January 6th and Ted Cruz's role in that, I, like I can't do that on the spot. I can give you broadly what happened, but I can't give you, here's a quote here, here's a quote here, here's a quote here, here's a quote here. If you want, right now, if you want to open your fucking calendar and we can Say do this, no, 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 hold it, don't weasel out. Stop. If you want to open your calendar, you want to pick a day next week, we can have a good three-hour conversation on this, okay? But you can't do this thing where you come in, and then I give you what every human being on the face of the earth, I think even you knows is true, and you're like, I need you to give me an exact quote from January 3rd at 2 a.m. I need to blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, I can't do that right now. And you're like, oh, well, it looks like you don't have any evidence, blah, 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 blah. No, bullshit. You can't say that. Every motherfucker knows that Ted Cruz is one of the biggest cheerleaders for this election recertification process that happened in Congress. He was one of the biggest cheerleaders backing up Trump saying, oh, maybe all these mail-in fucking ballots are fake. And I can prove that, but I don't have all the quotes offhand because I'm not fucking archiving every single thing on my computer on the off chance that one day Lauren Southern is going to come in and ask me like can you actually link me the exact thing that he said on January 2nd that you feel was inappropriate like I can't do that but I can if you want to have the conversation you want to set it up for a time and a date and say well let's spend two or three hours looking at it but the thing is Accus or, sorry, God. okay Hi. accusing someone of being a cheerleader for the election certification process is not the same as accusing them of trying to get someone else killed <sighs> And I think we can both agree that when it comes to accusations as serious as rape, murder, trying to get another human killed, 
you probably shouldn't just throw them out there and expect people to believe you. And you should just know everyone agrees with this. Everyone agrees that this ex person is a rapist, right? Like that, no, no, it's not being a rapist. No, listen, oh every, I'm saying every, that that sort of. Well, popular culture has assumed it's true, but I don't have to provide you the facts or evidence right now. I don't think that's a healthy way to have a conversation. It's the, it, like, people like you are why people come into my chat and they get so ass mad that I wouldn't call it a coup d'etat immediately. And my response to that was always like, well, hold on, guys. It was really bad, but we don't have to call it a coup d'etat and there's more, until there's more evidence out. But, like, I, I'm very empathetic towards them because people like you come in, and I know you feel this, even if you won't admit this right now, you probably don't think January 6th was that big of a deal. It was like, it was a protest gone, like, kind of bad, but, like, not that big of a deal. That's, that's, I know I, I'm connected to your fucking brain right now, okay? And I know that's what you feel inside. And that's not true. Even if it wasn't an organized coup d'etat, I think it was it, in recent history since 9/11. It was the de facto worst and most embarrassing event okay, in this country. I, Easily, I, I don't, I don't care. Sure, like, yeah, I know you don't that's, care, that's all, no, but no, no, like this, this the equivocation. I'm no, 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 like, well, it's kind of no, 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 It's not yeah. that I don't care about whether it is a coup or not. It's just that that's not relevant to this conversation. But the problem is that if something like this is going to happen in the United States. The, well, you know, what is the first part about fixing a problem? The first part is identifying it. There were some people that were willing to take a stand against Trump, and there were a lot of people that weren't. And if you were one of the people standing by him when he cheerled what was essentially an insurrection in our capital, I don't think it's that bad to point to those people and go like, hey, you were kind of responsible for this. Even if that means pointing to somebody like Ted Cruz and like, damn, dude, your rhetoric kind of led to like cheerleading people almost okay, getting so fucking killed in the yeah, Capitol building. It, yeah, It would probably be important to go through what rhetoric of his led to trying to get people killed because yeah, that's sure. going to be And if you want to do that, yeah, we so, can. So yeah. what I'll take is right now you don't really have anything supporting that. And that's fine, which is why I'm going to hold off on agreeing with AOC's accusation. And if you want to have this conversation at a later date and provide something that's convincing, because I'm certainly not convinced right now, we can absolutely do that. I'd be happy to. But until then, I think- When are you free next week? Give me, a, give me a time and a date that you're free next week and black me off two hours. All right, let me check. But also, no, hold on, because I actually already see where this conversation is going to go. This is going to be, <laughs> this, this is going to be the flow of my argument, okay? Number one, Donald Trump absolutely was trying to undermine one of our most important institutions, which was the election. Number two, Donald Trump was essentially creating a, a way so that the only redress you could have as an American citizen if he didn't win was through some sort of violent uprising. And number three, the only possible way Donald Trump can have that position be tenable is if he had support from key legislators in office, one of those being Ted Cruz. And number four is showing that Ted Cruz was in fact a key supporter of Donald Trump and his rhetoric throughout that entire process. Process. But I have a feeling that even if I lay all of that out for you, you're going to say, well, just because Trump or just because Cruz was doing his job as a politician and is like kind of supporting Trump, like, I don't really think that's fair to say that he like, oh, you know, like almost had AOC killed. I think that's how that whole conversation is going to end. That's what I feel like. Do you think that's sure, how that I mean, conversation if, would if, end? If, if the only thing you have to provide me for evidence is saying that Ted Cruz supported an election certification process, then yeah, it probably will end that that's a ridiculous claim to say he was trying to get AOC killed. Okay. So h him speaking to the idea that like him backing up Trump in the election fraud claims essentially over and over and over again, um, that wouldn't be we'll enough for you. So, at, so we'll have to look at his statements. But so far, like I said, the only thing you've so hold on, wait. So if he so if he made statements, an election certification process. So if he made statements, essentially saying that like he had severe doubts about. But the problem is, you're, you're, I'm going to have to provide you with. I things. don't even think saying you have severe doubts about the legitimacy of the election is trying to get another person killed. No, I think that's okay. Absurd. Because you need a one to one. I have to show you Ted Cruz's browser history on the dark web trying to hire an assassin. To, to... I, I, I think that your threshold for people being responsible for the potential violent actions of others is really, really in a dangerous spot to the point it's... where people might not even be able to have conversations anymore. If Holding they our ledges? Too. How often do you think this type of thing happens? This is a historic event. Somebody essentially uh, trying to coup d'etat the electoral process. If, like, someone, if someone wants to have a conversation and say, or even have the opinion that they don't think the election was fair, I think they should be able to have that conversation without being accused of trying to get others murdered. If you were involved in saying, absolutely, 100% the election was a fraud, it was stolen, you guys need to have a violent uprising, or you need to take back the Capitol, yeah, you're probably responsible for people going and trying to- Okay, so I'm just curious. Do you, do, you think that, do you think that Donald Trump was at all responsible? <laughs> 
Do I think Donald Donald Trump was for what happened on yeah. January six for for the for the riots, not just for yeah. people going through the protests, but for the riots? You do agree with that? Yeah, for sure, but not to the extent that you probably think it. But yeah. What do you? Okay, <laughs> well, expl elucidate. I mean, we can have this debate another time. No, I'm it's not a debate. I just want to hear your system. thoughts. I want to connect your brain. I want to hear your thoughts. On whether Donald Trump, I, honestly, I'd have to go back and look at his tweets more carefully. And oh, so you think that he was it. involved and you can't even give me a single quote? I didn't come here to talk about that. <laughs> what do you plan on doing for the rest of the day? <laughs> Clearly going through Donald Trump quotes and checking them out, but... Well, cool. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I'll go through his quotes and they'll be uh, And you'll be like actually Donald Trump. I don't think he was Yeah, I don't know. I think the media fabricated this whole narrative about Donald Trump being against the uh, elections Maybe Yeah, sure. Well, we'll go through the actual evidence on this. Um, but wow. Wow I know it's like Nothing it's kind like I have this like it's so weird and I understand like I'm a little like kind of queer when it comes to this sort of like political analysis I think that we should probably be doing things to create less like atmospheres of necessary political violence in the Americas. That's like my feeling. But but I guess for some people it's just, it depends on what side they're on or maybe you like political violence or I'm, I don't know, maybe. Do you think um, when you said that I needed to be deplatformed uh, because my language was dangerous, that when I got attacked by Antifa and left-wing supporters that that was your fault? I don't know. First of all, these are quotes that I made like the same day that you were no, in the just, fucking Mediterranean. Okay, so th I this is like years relevant. ago. I'm asking, but yeah, yes, yeah, but yeah. Sort of Hold on. If, if your if your gotcha is like, would you disagree with the rhetoric that you had like three or four years ago? I would say, yeah, of course no, it no, do. No. It's changed no, significantly. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not asking if you agree or disagree with it. Now I'm trying to gauge what your level of like degrees of separation for responsibility are. Right. If somebody, if you're asking somebody you to deplatform somebody, saying? okay, yeah, hold on, let me just, let me just, let me, <laughs> I'm thinking of Gladiator. What a great movie. He stabs him in the end and he still <laughs> wins, you know? What a, what a good story of, um, yeah, you know, Avengers, his family and all that, huh? Um, no, no, do, do you get what I'm asking? Yeah. I don't think that calling for somebody to be deplatformed necessarily uh, would make somebody responsible for a violent action, but it's going to depend on how that call for deplatforming happens. So, for instance, if somebody right. says something like, I think that Patreon should enforce her TOS and deplatform Lauren for her migrant stuff, I think that's fair. But if somebody says, like, we need to deplatform this person at all costs, we need to do whatever it takes to get them removed from the plug guy, well, that seems a little bit more dicey, right? But it's right. going to depend okay. on how that call happens, sure. So, so yeah, we'd probably agree then. Um, just being involved in supporting a certain cause is not the same as, like, acting saying things like at all costs or we need to put up a fight or like what Lori Lightfoot said today the to my friends in the LGBTQ plus community the Supreme Court is coming for us this moment has to be our call for arms we that is true yeah fight. but if like you... that's that's very different from just saying oh I kind of support this cause or oh, I don't really think Lauren should have a platform or ah oh, yeah that's different for sure certified. but if you think Ted Cruz had a passive action in in all of the electoral stuff I mean okay but but yeah, I would say those things are different. It's going to depend on the severity. It's it, it, there's going to be right. a lot of depends on, on on how things are done. Sure. Right. So there's a difference between a direct call and kind of just reporting something on the. Well, screen. but hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, you wait, probably wait. couldn't accuse you of trying to get me murdered. Probably the same way. It you wouldn't surprise me if there were times in my past. Actually, that's not true. I'm sure you could find plenty of examples in my past where my rhetoric was probably way too extreme. But there's there's an issue that I have with with this language here. Is you present us with this dichotomy of either a direct call to violence or no big deal. But I think there's something no, in the don't middle. No, I think it's a direct. Okay, sure. Yeah, okay, I think sure. there's something but in the middle. Do you middle. think the people that are in the middle uh, can be accused of trying to get others killed? De depending on how Depends. obvious it is, right. yes. So like, for instance, like here's like two things. We could either say like, we need to kill all police officers. That would be a direct call to violence and that would be bad. And then on the right. other end, we could have like, we need to restructure our um, police officers. You know, they're not working for us. That would be like really far on the other end. Though I don't think those people on the other end have any culpability right. at all. But in the middle, okay. you have this, this other thing where you're creating the conditions where violence is the only answer, but you're not actually doing anything. So that might look like this, right? Every time a police officer pulls you over, all they want is to kill you. That's all they're gonna do. And if we don't defend ourselves, Ourselves, maybe preemptively against these racist cops, then all we can expect is for them to continue to kill our people in the streets. Make sure that you stay protected. Now, that's not a direct call to violence, but it sure as fuck doesn't sound passive, 
right? You're creating the conditions necessary. We're like, well, fuck, if I listen to that, I believe that person. And these are the things that I'm critical of. This is where I think people like Ted Cruz and Donald Trump exist and Vosh exist. And what I try to stay away from and what I think everybody online politically wants to get involved in. This idea that you're creating the conditions where the only answer is violence, even if you're not directly calling people to do it. Okay, so yeah, in, in my opinion, I think Ted Cruz is in that area where it's far, far away, not even close to causing things. Um, you clearly seem to think he's in the middle somewhere. The only way for this conversation to continue is to prove that he's in the middle. Now, the reason I don't think he's in the middle is because I haven't seen any evidence for it or in the actual actively, you know, calling for violence. I just haven't seen evidence for it. So if we can talk about this a week from now and you can provide evidence for it, then for sure. Yeah, and I can do that, but I have a feeling you're you're going to say that he's just like challenging the election and he just says that like Trump, like, well, you know, maybe that. it was well, fake. Can, and, you know, we can, like, analyze, uh -huh. we can analyze what he said and okay. see if it's a, like a legitimate, honest critique of. Sure. Let's oh, um, I think we need to investigate this further or if it was a call for some sure. sort of action. Let me let me pull you aside um, down an alley real quick. OK, now, <laughs> do you think that let's say that what I'm saying oh, is bomb. true? I know. OK, huge, huge, huge ask. But let's just assume that that might be the possibility. OK. If what I'm saying is true, that it feels like Ted Cruz was cheerleading alongside Trump, that the election was false and that something needed to be done and that people needed to take things in their hands, let's just assume that to be true. Now I know, okay. Uh, unlikely, okay? Doctor Strange, one world out of 22 million possibilities. But let's say that that is the case. If that was the case, and if people saw that happening, do you think it would be fair during a historic riot at the Capitol that a lawmaker who is incredibly popular on the opposite side across the street in an office building might feel like her life would be in danger and she wouldn't really be trusting the politicians that were cheerleading the very movement that brought those rioters to the Capitol? Do you think that would be that ridiculous of a statement to make? Um, I think because someone said the election is, we, we don't think the election is legitimate. I don't think that is equivalent to them trying to get you killed. No, but I could see you being afraid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'll reach across and shake your hand. Okay. That's, I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to have a future conversation and we're going <laughs> to, man, we're going to iron out those Ted Cruz quotes. Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to it. Wow. Very <laughs> unconvincing today. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, never mind. Cool. Um, <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Be careful. Wait. <sighs> <sighs> hey. I don't know how to leave this room. No, that's good. Just, yeah, just leave your thing here so we can hear what's going on no, in the I background of your day the entire works. time. You know, it's fine. How do I, you know, actually though? Oof, super awkward. Are you, you're probably like blushing. You're getting nervous. You're like, oh God, I'm cringing just like right now. Oh voice, my goodness. The voice equivalent of uh -huh. walking into the door, not yep, being able to get out Over and over and over again. And everybody's Holy watching shit. you do it. Holy shit. <laughs> everybody's wondering when the fuck is she going to leave? Why is she overstaying so hard? Is it intentional? Is it not? Oh my God. But, okay, well, I actually thought I'm hanging out here all day. There's um, underneath Too the much room. Pressure. Yeah, underneath the room where it says voice connected, there's like a phone with an X in the top. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see it. All right, bye. Bye. <sighs> okay. Even Lauren disagrees with herself. Watch this video. Stop! I She, ha she has this debate strategy where she will, um, she'll come in and then anytime there is like an argument that I think is like a knockdown argument for what she's saying, she'll, go, she'll do this thing that people accuse me of doing this all the time and I hate it because I never do this. I'll never be in the middle of a conversation be like, source me, source me. But every time she's in an area, she'll be like, I'm gonna need an exact direct quote that actually proves every single part of your argument right now. And it's like, I don't have that, dude. I don't have these, I don't have quotes for, for Ted Cruz's entire fucking involvement in the electoral flip. And also, even if I did, I don't think that would even be sufficient for your argument. It's really fucking frustrating. <sighs> okay, Shh, just, okay. There's no easy way to keep track of your people's gear, right? I don't think so. Let me envy, wait. Jake gifted um, 10 memberships, I think, in YouTube chat. Thanks, bud. Destiny Lauren absolutely owned you. Thanks.
Darn, what would a used pair of FC shoes go for online? <sighs> Sorry. I didn't say Simon says. <laughs> Ye. Ye. Imagine you work as an electrician and the guy you work with engages with hazardous work practices. Could I say that that guy Warren is... needs discord logs of Ted Cruz and a twit longer calling for the specific methods to write and the floor plans of the Capitol building to believe he played at any part. Could I say that that guy is trying to get me killed? I'm... I, so I'm just going by my mom talking to me about her job um, because she did electronics for SAC in the Air Force. I'm pretty sure the answer would be, yeah, of course. I think my mom has even used that phrase before, that some people that like were just very careless around electronics, they'd keep their finger on switches. I remember she told me one time about how she was repairing. There was some radio or some piece of equipment on... Um, oh, God. What are the... Are they 135? Oh, what's the name of the... EC 130s? I don't remember. So EC 135. I don't remember. Some plane that she's on, or whatever. How some guy she was trying to she was trying to fix a radio, and she told me that this guy would like stand with his finger like on the switch to flip it on, and if he did, she would get blown the fuck up. Um, yeah, and I remember, I actually I remember that specific story. She's like, this motherfucker was trying to get me killed. She didn't say it like that though, because she would never swear. But um, AC 130. There's a variant of the plane um, for. There's a variant of the plane that I think was made for. The Looking Glass mission. I think it's an EC-130. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, I don't remember what the fuck the name of this plane was. Ooh. I don't know what plane it was. <clears throat> if it was off it, it's an RC-135. I don't think that's it. EC-135 might be it. Oh, yeah, this. The EC-135, thank you. Okay, we're, I'm playing video games. Um, no, I'm not. What did I, I didn't even want to talk about this today. What, okay, I don't even remember what we were doing. What's on my thing? Um, now I have to do a second, now I have to do a mini Ted Cruz manifesto. <laughs> oh man. I see David Peckman and a kid. Babies, yes. Yes, here, baby. There you go, thank you. No, it doesn't. That's... Wait. Hold on, I just wanna, I just wanna ask you a random question, okay? What now? Just a random question, okay? You're like the, I don't know, that meme my friend posted, I think you retweeted it, where it's like, the guy just won't stop messaging or calling her, you gotta relax. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. good now, one, okay? Chief. Yeah, okay, that's a good one, okay. Okay, just a random question, okay? Um, let's say that, um, let's say that you're in a girl boss mode, and you wanna fix yep. your car, okay? Yep. <clears throat> let's say that you crank up whatever Prius you probably drive, okay, and you're embarrassed to admit it. That's okay. Let's say you crank this up, all right? You're working on the bottom, the battery, whatever the fuck. I don't know what you would work on in a Prius, okay? Changing the brakes. Let's say that you've got it jacked, okay, in your garage. And let's say that a guy comes wandering downstairs and he's fucking just not paying attention and he like knocks over or he, he like runs into the car a few times. If you slid out from under that car and you were like, dude, you're trying to get me killed. Do you think that the word trying there implies intent to kill? Or do you think that it can be a little bit more open-ended than that? 
Is that where our whole disagreement was? Do you think that AOC, when she said you were trying, do you think that her tweet hinged on that word trying, meaning that Ted Cruz had the intention of getting her killed? I think someone would more likely yell, are you trying to get me killed? If someone's accidentally doing something that could potentially hurt you, that doesn't mean they're trying to get you killed. Trying implies intent. We both know that. So you, maybe, no, I, well, someone, maybe someone could improperly just, use language. Just sure. to be clear, I don't but agree with you. I don't agree intent. with you there that trying implies the intent to do the action. That's not necessarily true. Do you think that in the recollection of that event later, you might be on your stream and you might say like, wow, this guy in my garage that was wandering around or whatever, knocking my car, this guy was trying to kill me. So you when, think that, when you're trying to do something, you're actively putting an effort into it, yes? Yeah, but you might not be putting an effort directly into the thing that would happen. It might be into something else that would cause the thing to happen. So like, you're trying to kill me. And the guy's so like, So maybe I'm not if AOC had said something like, you're trying to stir up political distrust, which may have got me killed, that might be more accurate, but saying yeah, that's, trying that's to what get I, me killed, yeah, so what that you implies just said, the intent and the effort is toward the act of getting her killed. Okay, so that first statement that you said is how I would interpret that message. But you're saying that most people wouldn't or that there are other interpretations of that message. Because what you just said the first time it was, you were trying- yes, but it would be an inaccurate and imprecise use of the word, word trying. Okay, but like in common parlance, people use trying like this all the time. But you're taking, you're li li um, deliberately trying to interpret it in the least, uh, the, the most convenient way for your stance. Whereas the literal interpretation does mean he was intending to get her killed. Yeah, but I would, I don't ever take the literal interpretation of what a human says ever, because I would always look at like, how are the words? I'd say mean? the most common and the literal actual, you know, if you can read English interpretation is trying, which means there's intent behind it. But if you want to interpret it as she didn't actually mean that, actually she was just, you know, it was just a, so like a comparable thing is, let's say, know, let's say, let's say that- pretend, If you want to say that she didn't mean what she actually said, fine. Mm -hmm. I guess I can't argue with that, right? But if we want to argue over what she actually did say- Well, no, I'm just, the way, I'm just curious. Yes, it's implying intent. Okay, so let's say that I come back to our political bunker where you, me, and 30 other political people are living doing content, okay? Because this is what we do now, we create a content house. And I come in and I barge in, I'm like, oh my God, there was this drunk driver today on the road. It was like, he was trying to kill me. Would you assume like, Oh my God, Steven, there was a drunk driver and he was like focused on actually trying to murder you? Or would you think, wow, that guy was driving in such a way that it seemed like it could have caused you to die? What would your assumption be there? I repeat that. Someone just sent me AOC asking, defending BLM protesters. I saw cool. That oh yeah. Oh, were you gonna hit me up with a standard progressive? Like, Steven, would you support BLM riots? Is that, cause yeah, I know that's I like just, a common repeat episode. Okay, it. that's fine. Right. Okay. I come barging in the door and I go, oh my God, there was a drunk driver today. This guy was crazy. It's like he was trying to kill me. If I were to say something, would you think like, wow, this guy was actually like targeting you, like he was actually trying to murder you. Or would you okay, think, okay, or wait, 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 let me just finish the second thing. Or would you say like, oh, he was driving in such a way that like, if he continues driving that way, he could get you killed. So the, what's funny about what you're saying is like, this is exactly how Republicans argue when it comes to Trump's rhetoric and causing January 6th. They're like, what he says, fight back hard. In common parlance, that obviously means he just wants people to win the game, you know? Like the basketball game, he's just trying to pump people up. Like there are, of course, these interpretations you could make of what someone says in common parlance. But your whole argument has always been Trump is a politician. He is a leader in this country. Therefore, the language he uses must be precise and deliberate. And it can't just be common parlance that can potentially be misinterpreted. Just like I am holding AOC to that same standard. Her saying Ted Cruz is trying to get me killed does absolutely Obama. insinuate that she thinks Republicans are attempting to get their political rivals killed, which of course is going to cause mass distrust in the political system, mass distrust in Republicans, and potentially even cause people like Vosh to react and say, well, we need to preemptively defend ourselves. So if you're gonna like hold Trump to this standard where we can't have any sort of, oh, he could have meant it a different way interpretation of him because he's a politician that we need to have higher expectations of, well, then I'm gonna have those expectations of AOC as well. And I'm gonna interpret Do you think what that... she said as she sure. said it. Okay, so. I'm gonna assume then that you would answer my 
hypothetical that like, oh, you could assume, you'd probably assume that what I'm trying to say is like, oh, when I said like, this guy was trying to kill me with the way that he was driving, you would be like, okay, well, he's probably not actually trying to kill you. He's just acting in a manner that would probably lead to your death because you're doing it. I'm assuming that would, you would have agreed to that. If, if someone went into a courtroom and said, this man who was drunk driving was actively trying to get me killed, I don't think that would hold up. I think they that, would Well, now you've created a whole different context. I don't oh, think AOC, no, no, no. AOC wasn't under oath in a courtroom. She was tweeting. Right? Yes, but she's a politician. And like you have said many times, we need to hold them to a higher standard when they use their language. The implication that another well, politician I've, I've is never trying said to get anything you like killed? this kind of way, but if you want oh, to. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we can we can su be super generous when interpreting Trump's words. Um, yeah, we can around. actually. I'm okay. totally okay with that. Do you think that my right. issue is that Trump made one oh, stupid my. statement or two stupid statements or three stupid statements? My problem is that Trump has made hundreds of statements undermining the election. And more importantly, he's taken actions to undermine the election and even more importantly behind the scenes he's worked to undermine the election do you think lauren that my only problem with trump is that he made one tweet that could be interpreted a couple different ways do you think the only reason i think aoc is being hysterical and dramatic is because of one tweet from her of course not are you do you is it intentionally you always answer my questions with questions is that like a thing that you well, do? well the conversation is about aoc and you just gave a great opportunity for me to say yeah i agree with that i agree it has to be a larger kind of umbrella analysis of someone's behavior before you come to a conclusion. And I think beyond just this, she's trying to get me killed tweet from AOC. She's also made other ridiculous hysterical comments about the Capitol. What, okay, I'm not pushing you for a quote, but I'm like, just in general, like what other things, like what's that, another thing you think she said that's like ridiculous? Like about? her thinking that the police officer that came to take her and evacuate her from the area was trying to set her up to be murdered by Capital riders. Now, I'm not she was suspicious of him. I think sure. that's ridiculous. Well, hold on. So, I'm, and I'm not, I'm not going to do what you do to me and say quote me. But wasn't she just saying that when he showed up, she didn't know initially if she could trust him? I thought she said initially he didn't yeah, identify. Yeah, she him. did. She thought that he, she, he might have been setting her up okay. to get her. Is harmed. that re yeah? Is that really that crazy to be like fearful yes. in that? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Cool. Well. Uh, carry on. I'm sorry for calling you. I hope I didn't interrupt anything important. Okay. All right, have a good one. <laughs> okay, I, we need to make, neurologists need to make machines where I can just reverse the political parties and run it the same way and I can see how their brain responds. I wish, I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it. I wish I could get people to do this. <sighs> you are actually so fucking bad faith, man. True. That's me. Give me your hate. I welcome. I love how many conservatives I have my, on my audience now. My YouTube chat is mad as fuck. Get mad. Stay mad. That's fine. In six months, you'll agree with me. It's okay. Take some time. Let it sit in your brain. Hate me a little bit, cause that's how it always starts. It always starts. You fucking hate me, and that's good. I want. I want you to. I want you to fucking hate me. I want you to hate me, because what happens right now is every time I criticize conservatives, you guys are like, oh, he's so bad faith. Destiny's being so bad faith. And then when I criticize the leftists, you're like, Destiny's based. He's totally right when he says that like irresponsible rhetoric leads to BLM riots. Irresponsible rhetoric led to Jacob Blake, Kenosha, and Rittenhouse. And then every time I criticize, you're like, oh, but eventually you're gonna be like, you know what? This guy that constantly makes good faith criticisms of his side over and over and over again, maybe there's something that what he's saying about how absolutely fucking batshit insane the Republican Party is today in the United States. Maybe. It'll happen. Might not be today. Might not be one week from now. But in a few months, you'll be like, you know what? Damn. Maybe Donald Trump, the president of the United States, trying to undermine our election and having other people in Congress working with him to do that was actually historically really fucked up. Maybe one of the worst things to happen Probably since 9-11. I would say so. Easily. 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 Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe. Oof. I'll get you real mad at this one. Maybe worse than 9-11. Maybe. Possibly. I think you can make arguments for it. I don't even think it would be that crazy of an argument that a sitting president would essentially try to reinstate himself after losing an election. Might actually be worse or more crazy than 9-11. The only reason it wasn't is because somehow, and I don't fucking know how, because I hate every fucking aspect of this country when I'm talking to Americans, not to Europeans, fuck your shithole countries, okay? 
somehow our US institutions held up, somehow other people in appointed positions, maybe that's the difference. Maybe this, maybe that was the strongest argument for the Supreme Court lifetime appointments all along. Maybe people in appointed positions are just based. Even the most disgusting fucking people that I would never, ever, ever find myself agreeing with, like fucking William Barr. We read his whole profile uh, on the New Yorker, the sword and shield of Donald Trump. Um, the, um, that, that, that people like this, that Pence, the vice president, maybe that these people would be the ones at the end of the day to finally be like, you know what? Actually, Donald Trump, this is really fucked up. This was really fucked up. Maybe this isn't, maybe this ain't it, chief. Maybe this ain't it. That his own appointees across multiple intelligence agencies, that his own cabinet members, his own people are like, you know what? I think Trump is making a bad mistake right now. Maybe appointed, maybe that is, maybe that's the ultimate rule, the, the ultimate argument against democracy. It's appointed people that saved us at the end of the day. Because when motherfuckers' elections are on the line, when all these Republicans need to get reelected, they know where their bread is buttered, and that's with Trump fans. Fucking William Barr isn't fighting for a fucking election to the attorney general. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Or maybe I'm just a partisan hack, you know? <laughs> and I just pretend to criticize my site sometimes just to trigger you guys. Would you speak with Sitch and Adam about TDS? Um, okay, here's like a thing. So now I've introduced this theory into the lexicon. Destiny, I have watched you for three years, big fan, but that was the most bad faith I've ever seen you. Lauren, unleash the pure soul within you. Um, there, 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 there's a thing that happened and I don't know how to explain it yet, okay? Um, academics will still be pouring over the evidence for years to come, okay? But there was a thing that was very real, okay? Called Trump derangement syndrome, where every single possible thing that Trump did was reported on by the media. And people got unhinged absolutely unhinged over him. It happened. I'll admit that, of course. Look at the fucking, how many new SNL skits do we need to see where Donald Trump is the butt of every single joke, right? We get it, Alec Baldwin. You do a Donald Trump impression. No one cares, okay? But there became a TDSS, where you had a the Donald syndrome syndrome, where people were so desperate to look like they didn't have the Donald syndrome, that they were like, oh no, like uh, actually a lot of the things that he did weren't that bad at all. I think he wasn't even that far off of normal like a president. Like, look at how unhinged I am. I'm, I'm, I'm not unhinged at all. I, like, I, I, I think a lot of the stuff that Donald Trump did was, it wasn't even that bad. Like, it's like this, it's like this weird world where you're so desperate to prove that you don't have TDS that you end up inevitably simping for Donald and giving him a pass on things that he absolutely never should have gotten a pass for. Um, and I feel like a lot of the people that try to downplay the January 6th stuff are in that world. Where they're like, oh, well, you know, he just, he, he just wanted to make sure the election results were valid. Like, that's it. And it's like, okay. Been watching you for years. Still don't agree with you on a lot, but think you're an honest actor. Thanks. And buddy. know you hold to your principles. Riot equals terrorist attack now. Okay, listen. Destiny, YouTube chat is mostly left wing. Stop maligning us. The, you had a riot at the Capitol building that was driven by our president saying that the election results were invalid. That is just so wild. I don't know. I wish I could make a Democrat do the same thing. Like... If Hillary Clinton was saying that the election results were invalid in the White House um, wh while she had lost an election, I, like, I just, I wish, I can't, I can't play the other world for you. I want you to, maybe I, I need to record an ASMR tape of me talking about this so that you have dreams of it happening. And then when you wake up, you can tell me how you felt about it, right? How did you feel when Donald Trump won in 2024 and Hillary Clinton said the election results were fake? and we needed to march on the Capitol and take the country back. And then all the people that were marching on the White House, half of them are like black, okay? Marching on the White House, screaming things in Ebonics, okay? Breaking windows open, all right? Just like you saw them do in the LA riots, just like you saw them do in the BLM riots, just like you saw them do in Kenosha. 
What would you what would you be feeling if other politicians like AOC and Rashid Tlaib and all of these the justice stems and, and Pelosi and Schumer if they were behind Hillary going yeah this election was 100% fake do you know why I know how you would react because you still to this day cry about Russiagate when none of them even said half the shit you accuse them of saying. Pelosi, AOC, none of these people were even saying that like Russia rigged the vote counters. They just said that they influenced election, which they did. You still fucking soy out over that. You still soy out over that. If there would have been a violent attempted insurrection at the Capitol that was led by Hillary Clinton's rhetoric and cheer-led by lawmakers in Congress, you would lose your mind. <laughs> oh, did you want to talk to me about your second favorite movie? Oh, yes. Okay. This is uh, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> no, it doesn't kill me because he knows he's an illegitimate president. I believe he understands that the many varying tactics they used from voter suppression and voter purging to hacking to the false stories. He knows that there were just a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out like it did. That was Hillary Clinton. And I also happened to be in the violent protests that happened when he was inaugurated into office. Awesome. So, so one, I've read that exact <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Oh, it should... Hold on. Now, wait, now I'm actually going to be the guy. What? One, none of that was even untrue. Two, if we compare Hillary's actions to Trump's Trump actions, Hillary conceded that night. Hillary conceded that night. Hillary conceded that night. Yeah, go wait, ahead. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. go ahead. You yeah. just said all of that was true. You think Trump was an illegitimate president that stole the election? In so far, for, wait, stole the election? Oh, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Read the quote. Read the whole quote again. 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 Trump again. Read the whole quote. You're, you're actually un. You, uh, first of all, this was like I'm pretty sure a couple years after the election. Number one. Shit. Number two. Everything that followed afterwards was true. Number three. I would even go as far as to say, yeah, maybe Hillary Clinton was a little bit irresponsible in the illegitimate president part, but. Number four, none of that is even remotely close to the things that Trump has said and done and done behind closed doors. Would you acknowledge all of that? All right. No. Yeah, because you are you're deranged. You are absolutely you deranged. Listen, I, I hope that you're doing a fundraiser for your next truck so that you can drive or the next fucking Canadian convoy or whatever the fuck you want to do and go and celebrate your I can't even believe so the, so your quote you is from, from a Hillary Trump Clinton book or interview president. two years you, later after she's conceded the election you on that night. Hassan tier. I thought you were better. Oh you're my like God. Gosh Unbelievable. Tier. Trump wasn't a legitimate president. He hacked the election. Her you know what? I was wrong. Good. You're more radical now than even Fuentes is now do you know what you i was even more wrong it wasn't just past one even now okay you're farther to the right but that's good you you're bumped up to rank one for my most conservative for, actually i don't know i need to go get fuentes thoughts on this so um sounds good yeah all right wait a second wait a second no, you do acknowledge you do acknowledge like. that hillary do you know that hillary conceded that night if she conceded that night then she conceded she that night it doesn't <laughs> okay <laughs> I just want to play. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm just playing video games, okay? All right. <clears throat> okay, let's catch up on donos. I had a $50 YouTube super chat. How is challenging election unprecedented? Didn't the Dems challenge electors in 2016? Isn't Hillary still saying the election was stolen from her? The right was unprecedented, much like when Antifa and BLM tried to take the White House. So um, <clears throat> Hillary conceded that night, number one. Um, number two, um, Antifa and BLM tried to take the White House. I'm trying to think of when Antifa and BLM, I know there was a group of feminists that tried to break into like a senator's office one time, which was sucked, but I don't remember the Dems challenging electors in 2016. Can you point to me that happening? Maybe that happened and I'm not aware of it, but I, I don't remember Democrats leading a, a an election challenge process in the Senate like the Republicans life, tried to. Class, Andy. <clears throat> Keep hating your life then, working class Andy. Hold on, let me. <sighs> Didn't say Simon says. I wonder if AOC was killed. I wonder what kind of copium this people will give.
No senator did in 2016. Say something to see if Lauren is watching. I'm just, I'm just going to play donuts. Conservatives seem to struggle with thinking in terms of systems. Lauren can't see how these statements intersect to cost Jan 6th. Like how to sell it. As someone who is center-right, it's frustrating that so many people on the right down player make excuses for January 6th. Keep hating your life then, working class Andy. It's dangerous. So here, here's my thinking. Tell me if I'm wrong or right on this. So let's say right now, the most likely Republican that's not Trump to win is DeSantis, right? Um, he's got even odds right now with Trump mm -hmm. on being the next nominee. Mm -hmm. He's known nationally. Um, so <clears throat> I feel like if DeSantis ran and Trump didn't, the Republicans would 100% fucking take it. I think- Wait, if no DeSantis way. ran and Trump didn't? Oh yeah, yeah, right now, it seems like that would be the case for sure. Like yeah. it, it would be a fucking steamrolling of the mm -hmm. Democrats, yeah. okay? Um, but if Trump ran right now, I feel like there would still be, there's just still so much Trump derangement syndrome, still, that the thought of having him back in I feel like would still be enough to energize behind Sleepy Joe again, regardless. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot, like, if you're a Republican, you're looking at, like, what are the odds? I think, right? Do you just say, fuck it, let's throw it all behind Trump because we have to? Or Yeah, like, if Trump, this is, this, is, is, this is my thought process. I think, okay, so here's this, right? Um, Trump is, um, Trump doesn't care about politics of the Republican Party, right? Like, he only cares about himself, you know? Yeah, but if the Republicans won't run him. Well, no, 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 well, no, no, hold on. I, let's just, I'm not at that point, okay? What I'm saying is that Trump doesn't care about the, um, Trump doesn't care about the Republican Party. He only cares about himself and his ego, right? You agree with that, right? If you yes. don't agree with this, so yeah, okay. So if you agree with that, if Trump wants to run, he's going to run. He doesn't give a fuck what the Republican Party does. He will run. He's already shown he'll throw literally anybody under the bus that he can. Um, if that is the case, then, then really what, in order for Trump to run, the, the question is just, is Trump going to decide to run? That's the only thing that matters. And if Trump does decide to run, the Republicans have to back him. They have no choice because if they run somebody against him, they split the vote and their, their, their candidate might not even get more votes than Trump will. So that's my logic for why Trump is going to run. Well, wait, wait a second. They have primaries. Um, when they say they split the vote, either Trump it, No, no, no. I don't think they, I don't think they do. Um, like, I mean, they, of course they do. Like the same that Democrats do. Like, if Trump lost like, the primary, do you think he would accept that? Or do you think he'd still run as an independent? I don't think he'd run as an independent. You don't I think, think he'd so? probably cause hell for the Republican nominee, but I think, um, no, I don't think so. I think, one, I think he would win the primaries. Can you? Can you do that? Can you just run yeah. as an independent? Yeah, you can. I think Trump would win the primaries if they held him. But more importantly, I think that even if he lost the primaries, I think he might just run as an independent. And I think Republicans would know that. I think Republicans would back him. Also, even if Trump's popularity is dipping now, as soon as Trump is on stage talking his wild shit again, I think that um, I think that Republicans would would back him. I think they'd back him over to Santa's. They just they he's like just he's universally loved. He's like the love child of of the Republican parties, of the Republican Party. Well, hi. I feel uh, pretty strongly that if Trump runs, you're mm -hmm. going to have similar levels of anti-Trump sentiment and probably not the same level of super Trump hype. There's don't get me wrong. There's a lot of Republicans who still like Trump, but I don't like. Okay, how do I put this? The amount of people that still hate Trump is the same as before. Um, I don't think that's. I don't changed. know if don't that's think... true. Why would it not be true? Who hated Trump enough to vote just against him before? I think that a lot like, of the I think good. that the vitriol is going to be tempered. I think there are a lot of people that hate Trump, sure, but not like they did in 2020. I think that a lot of it is going to be alleviated just because as time passes, that's just how it goes, right? You're Look telling at, me when this guy gets on fucking stage and starts doing his Trump shit that people that didn't hate Trump are gonna fucking, it's all not gonna all click in their fucking head like PTSD on overdrive. I mean, like, I'm just trying to think of like, what was the country like under Trump? Like at the time that things happened, we were like getting into full blown on the coronavirus shit. Like everything was insane, like insanely disfavorable for the conditions at that point in time. 
Um, it, like if Trump comes back now and the economy is equally is like feeling like shit and it doesn't and like we've got inflation problems still, I don't know how long we're going to be in a recession for. Um, I, I just I don't see people having the same vitriolic hate towards Trump. We're past the coronavirus shit now, like. But I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. You think we're past the Trump hate? I think that's. I, I think we're past the peak of the Trump hate. Because keep in mind that even at the okay, fine. even Let, even at the peak even, even at the peak of the Trump hate, he still had a fuck ton of votes. That guy got okay, a lot okay, of fair, votes. Forget yeah. all that. Mm -hmm. There's a delta. The amount of people that hated Trump before, the amount mm -hmm. of people that hate Trump now. Mm -hmm. The amount of people that loved Trump before, the amount of people that love Trump now. Do you think that these two things are exactly in sync or one of them is the delta has swung more in favor? <clears throat> I think the people that love Trump, I think once he starts speaking again, will be there like a little bit less, but mostly there. But I think the people that fucking hated Trump, I think that that massive hate will have dropped off more. You're actually delusional. How? You're a politics streamer too. <clears throat> Okay, we'll see. I, I think that people like you, normies, um, underestimate how much people like drop off and just don't give a fuck after a while. Look at how many people like laugh and giggle along with um, with Bush and stuff. And, and like people hated Bush. I know I know it's been a bit longer, but like Bush was literally like the 9-11 Iraq war. And now people are like, oh, it's Bushisms. They're funny. He's kind of cute. He's a little endearing, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's so bad. Like people online are like, guys, remember how much we're supposed to fucking hate Bush? Like, stop being friendly. to like, Wait, no, hold on. Okay. That is not to that level of how it was. We were there for Bush. Like, first off, Bush never had the level of like hatred from the Democrats that the Democrats hated Trump. Like to them, he was just like, you were there, dude. It's totally fucking different. It wasn't as bad, sure, but like, damn, That's it was like pretty bad. Like, well, I mean, like, damn, we had like the whole fucking Iraq war and Afghanistan and everything. Like, it was pretty fucked. Like, yeah, but that was fucking politics. Like, most people didn't even have politics in their day to day. Like, at that point back then, it was only like this election where every fucking day people are being like. Uh, no, like, I understand. I'm just saying that like Bush was pretty hated. Trump Remember something. fucking No Child Left Behind? People fucking hated that shit. Like it just it felt like people were super vitriolic towards Bush. Now it's like pretty like chill. Um, but right I, I don't know. I, you know, I could be wrong. We'll we see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What we wanted right now is what we're getting, which is like every day waking up and not having to hear about fucking politics and news, and that's what we got. By the way, right now, I don't know if you notice or not, but like you go to sleep and you wake up and there's not some fucking crazy shit that Biden has tweeted that we're all talking about how he told. Yeah, but like, you're implying that people like that. I think people like people loved Trump's tweets. That was like exciting for people on the right. They felt like there was a guy, even though they were all delusional in thinking this, but they felt like there was a guy that was actually speaking to them. Like Trump is based. He's yeah, calling but that up, riled yeah. up the fucking uh, obviously the the Democrats as well. Yeah, it it did rile up the Democrats, sure, because they wanted an election where they thought that they could do better and blah blah blah. But if we've had four years of Biden and it seems like well fuck the economy kind of sucks now, like. I don't know. There's not a coronavirus shit to worry about anymore. I don't know if that same energy or passion is going to be there for not Trump as there was like right after. I mean, like you'll agree with this. The hatred for Trump then is definitely going to be more than the hatred for Trump will be when he comes back to run again. Right. Like because he's not even in office. We don't have like that constant reminder of how much. Um, I think it's going to be close just because of what happened on like January 6th and people fearful that if he gets in, it's going to be the end. But the thing I think that's important I'll come back here is like mm -hmm. i feel pretty strongly that if the republicans run somehow desantis mm -hmm. as the nominee um the Re republicans like guaranteed fucking win right but if the, they run trump it's not that guaranteed is my my thought on the process does that make sense to you like if you run trump you don't know how the democrats are gonna like be able to rile up and raise money and do sorts of crazy fucking shit on the fact of Trump coming back and the end of the Republic and everything else. If DeSantis just comes in here, you know, I think it's a little bit more, um, it's actually more dangerous because De DeSantis is like a fucking, like super Trump and people just don't know it yet. I think that, it, I think running DeSantis would be probably better for a variety of reasons for the Republican party. I would agree with that. But if Trump can run, he will. He doesn't give a fuck about the Republican party. Um, and I think if Trump does run, I think the party is still largely allegiant to Trump. But I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll see.